thank you so much yeah so once again good evening everyone let's start our session of today i hope you guys are excited as i am uh so yeah uh, once you open this parkya studio you will see some of the templates here and uh, you could see the tabs here you can create new projects learn uh, you can see what all the recent projects you have made or you can even open the existing projects so before starting off let me tell you that uh in order to know a lot many small things because if the basics are clear you would be able to uh, make a lot of new filters with conceptually not just uh, sake of making filters so i would always prefer you all to uh, go through the documentation that's always there uh, so the documentation of spark yard looks like this you just have to uh, tab on the learn and there are lots of articles here on the basics then you could go with the patches fundamentals if you want to learn something that is uh, very basic for example if you see the articles of the fundamentals that will uh, tell you how the software has been designed what would be the life cycle of it how you are going to uh, see what all size limits are there in the spark so if we start first of all you have to create a new project so uh, let's start with the blank project so once you click on the blank project a new window will open why it is okay it open yeah so wait before starting it let me share you what all we are going to learn today so yeah in the week one of ar uh, spark yeah what we are going to see is first we'll see the overview of the spark how it has been uh, designed how what all things are there for example scene panel layers uh, these this is a properties and tab menu then assets then if you go and click here on the uh, patch editor you will see here like how you can attach the patches how you you are going to make a logic behind your filters then uh, you will see the viewport and then uh, how it's going to see on your de different devices for example android or iphone or maybe ipad so that's uh, all we are going to see here then we will see the design and concepting for ar how you are going to make if you are making a filter what uh, thing you have to think first and then what all you have to take it step by step it's not just like uh, you will get all of a sudden an idea and you will start creating it then uh, you will see the types of trackers there are basically uh, if you are creating for instagram there are basically three trackers face plane and target tracker and for uh, hand tracking is just for facebook i'll teach you everything in the class today and there are uh, types of segmentations person segmentation hair segmentations skin segmentations that's how we'll go through it so let's start with the project configuration and uh, the overview of the spark so once you open the blank project it looks something like this this is a patch editor for now i'll just hide it because it's of no use for me right now and this is how your device in your devices uh, the whatever changes you are going to make it will make the changes here so uh, if you see uh roughly here then you will see that this is a screen and here it's something called child parent relationship how we uh, see the things like in the device the device if device is a parent then uh, camera is the child then again you will see the foc uh, focal distance then ambient light directional light and whatever we are going to add the objects here it will uh, start adding in the screen panel so if we talk about the objects later on definitely we will so they, these are some of the different types of uh, objects that are available in spark we'll see the, with the screen, uh, scene understanding or 3d objects or 2d objects different types of lights effects etc etc uh and yeah if you are thinking how i open the documentation either you can google it or just 
you can click on view documentation and the documentation of the spark would be easily open to you and apart from this the best thing is if, if you are stuck in any of the topic and like for example we are working on patches you don't know how what would be the logic and what this patch do uh, we have that uh, property also here like with the right click you you will get to know about what this patch do i'll tell you everything in the coming uh, coming hour of course yeah so uh, this thing apart from the camera this is the viewport so what viewport uh, if you want to see i am zooming in so basically i'm using my mouse so if you drag here uh, it will be able to zoom in and zoom out and if you will just uh, click right click on it and uh, i mean near your uh screen you will see that it is getting rotated now for example if you are working on some project and by mistake it went something here and there and you again want to come back to the position you just have to click on f once you click on f you will see it's back to its original uh, like default position uh then you can just set it whatever or wherever wherever you want it so basically right now it is on the 3d object port if you see on the 2d object you would be able to see the uh, effect that is being now switched to a uh, 2d screen and if you if you think that these things are just irritating you or it's of no use then you can just hide it uh, like this ruler you can hide it show and hide uh, ruler, ruler sorry yeah so apart from this basically we go with the 3d object mode itself then there is a filter here it is a, we add canvas and then if we want to add rectangle or face tracker or plane tracker depends on our requirements of the project and again the view something or the other would be there in the view also so if you talk about the mode that is 3d object or 2d object so it is basically the orthographic view uh that is there is no perspective so so if you hold the uh, like uh, as i say if you hold alt and uh, your left mouse wait i have to do it on okay, yeah so it will uh, just you will see that nothing will happen and if you will go with the middle of the mouse and uh, zoom in and zoom out will be there yeah so uh, that's all about the view i think it's nothing more in assets you will see that if you have a default uh, images you can just import it from your computer whatever you want or uh, if you want to search then this is a very nice thing that spark has that is ar library there are lots and lots of uh, things you could find here if you go on 3d objects then you will be having mm -hmm. since it have collab with the Uh, sketch um, sketch web so there are lots of uh, 3d objects that you can just download it and make use of it for example if you are creating the glasses or any of the you know plain uh, objects or something like that even shapes for example i want to uh, have the like something i want to make like a earth is there and you are running over it or something like that so we can use the a uh, sphere etc shapes whatever you want accordingly then you have different music and uh, sound also so basically all the music and sounds in this park are in the format of m uh, m4a uh, if you want to export it from here directly then you don't have to do anything um, then if you are have to convert it from mp3 or mp4 i'll tell you later in a later classes how it is done then there are different patches that you can just download it and uh, just you can create your n number of filters with it there are different shaders available these are again just like patches you have to just download it and uh, make use of it i'll tell you everything just give me some time then there are textures for example uh, if you want to add a sunset of, uh, texture or sunrise or night so you can just add in the environmental lights here then we have different blocks available you in order to use the block you just have to right click on it and then you have to just import it free and you have to drag in your screen uh, screen workspace 
then we have scripting packages and color alerts for creating beauty filters or etc etc uh, so let's start okay before that there is one more thing uh, that is uh, these things which you will see here i'll explain while adding objects wait uh, so let's start create just okay so if we are creating a face filter first because i think we should go with that only what about terminology object material okay everything will be starting yeah so in order to make a face filter let's switch to add object and let's add a face tracker <laughs> sorry now what is face tracker face tracker is basically an invisible object that that is going to track your face your facial movements like um, if you want to see around yourself or um, if you want if you'll blink it will be there in just a minute i'll open the project again yeah so if you want to if you'll go here on the camera icon and you will switch to integrate camera you will see yourself yeah so oh, hi so what we are going to do is we'll add the object and add a face tracker here so what face tracker will do as i said that it will just uh, it is basically an invisible object that's going to track your uh, face movement for example if i add a face mesh here so you could see that it is detecting my face movements you can even like if you want don't want the eyes and mouth then also you could see yeah so if you want to add a material now what material is going to do is it's going to uh, take like the face mesh uh how like uh, how it is being what we can say wo pura face ko cover up kar lega and then uh, it is uh, there are different shader types for the materials flat uh, standard physical based uh, physically based and uh, face paint blend shader assets and retouching so for example what all these things will do is uh, if we add a flat shader type then flatter shader uh flat is going to occupy your face in such a manner that uh, the lights are uh or your surrounding lights would be there for example if i add a some color it would be there if we are adding an texture i think i would be having some okay so if you have watched the squid game you would be knowing the mask <coughs> sorry yeah so i have added this flat now what basically we usually uh, change the shader type to flat because it gives the exact texture of the uh, element that is there if there is a standard then you would see that light effect is something different here you could easily able to see the difference uh, just give me one minute <coughs> sorry just give me one minute <coughs> yeah so uh, apart from the flat and uh, standard shader type there are different shader type called physically based now what this will do is basically if you have when you are working on the 3d objects you have the texture of Uh, you know gold or silver you can easily uh, use this texture because it will be very helpful there are different surface parameters uh, that is metallic rough 
as well as um, occlusion strength. <coughs> so what? <coughs> I'm sorry. So what this material will uh, is going to? Why we are going to use it? Because to create the realistic look of the object. Uh, for example, if we have more metallic, then you could see. Yeah, that it is getting more metallic and see the roughness is also getting increased. You can set up according to yourself, uh, like whatever you want. And uh, apart from this, there is a base texture, ORM, ORM texture. Uh, what ORM texture is going to do is that uh, that will allow you to define the basically roughness um, of the metal. You could add here and then you could just um, see the opacity, whatever you want. Apart from them, there is a normal map. Now, what this normal map going to do is it will create the appearance to the real world, like how the uh, it, it's going to uh, give you a texture that will be like uh, that will just grooves while adding the geometry towards the object. And uh, apart from this, you have different blend mode. This will, again, I'll explain you in some time. And uh, we have uh, roughness, metallic, metallic. Uh, and occlusion yeah so that's that's all about this uh, you could just change the color of it if you want more golden look yeah so this is uh, this will be all the physically based now i was talking about the flat material i forgot to tell you guys uh, just a minute uh, it is not getting okay i have changed to yellow color that's why it's looking like that let me remove it yeah so uh, in the flat material basically i told you that it, it is not going to respond according to the uh, like display color of the lights and uh, you might use this material if there is there is some lightning and shadow present in your texture file uh, like there was the effect in this texture itself so i just directly made it to flat and many a times we usually like 99.9 percent .9 we use the flat material only and uh, there are some of the properties of the flat material that you have to keep in mind that you can of course you can add it the color as you already saw here then you could add the environmental light uh, so if you want to download any environmental light, you can just go to assets and in the texture, you can download any of the lights you want and then you can add. Basically, these are used in when you are working with the 3D objects. This will be more useful to it. Then there is an alpha channel. Now, what this alpha channel is going to do is it is used in the option uh, to basically mask, mark, uh, mark the uh, like. As I said, that it is alpha is for alpha channel, so it it, uh, it will use to invert the uh, like it will just invert to the part of the texture that is being masked. Then we have uh, um, offset and uh, tile. So what tile will be going to do is it will scale the texture that you have applied to the material. Uh, I think if you'll increase it, it will just switch off since I haven't added, so you can't see it right now. And for offset, it is basically, it's going to shift the origin of your texture. So all these things are basically used uh, uh, to add the, uh, like to make the this mask more realistic. And uh, if we talk about the standard material, so it is basically uh, like it is going to use the lightning system of the object and flat is not going to use that one. Uh, and then if you're using physically based then it will be more for more, uh, you know, like uh, to give the more uh, what we can say. Um, okay, realistic look only because it is like if you are creating uh, 
your earrings or maybe some crown or something you could use physically base and make it more golden shade or silver shade depends on your requirements then we have uh, face paint now what this face paint is it is going to it is going to look like how you have painted someone has painted the face if i'll remove the texture you you could easily see the difference i think i have some texture which i can show how it looks could be there let me try Think so I would be having here. It's not there right now with me. Uh, I would have shown you otherwise. For example, some if you are creating a filter for holy, like you want the color texture on your cheeks, you can create that. Or ex for example, I created this one where it would come on the eyes. Yeah. So this you could change the opacity accordingly, like whatever you want here. And the BG influence also, you could see the difference. And yeah, of course, brightness. I think this looks good. So that's how it could be done. Uh, if you are using blended, then it will again blend towards it and it will make more silverish look because it's of that color. Now, yeah, one more thing you have to keep in mind whenever you are adding a texture in the asset file, you have to compress it. Um, you have to make it none because uh, if you are going to send your file to the device, then it will take a lot much more time and uh, it will take the exact same size of the image that you have inserted to uh, in the uh, in your project. Yeah, so you have to make it none. Or even if you have a lot of time, you can go with manual also. You can just compress it according to your requirement. I prefer none. Uh, yeah, so this thing you have to keep in mind apart from this I, yeah so if we talk about the terminologies oh wait i was telling you about screen understanding yeah so as i said that face tracker will track your facial uh, moments and like how you are going to um uh, to like it will make it more um uh, towards your what 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 I could say ki jaise tum, like how you are if you are rolling your eyes it will definitely do the same if you are making some changes towards your face it will do uh, it will change um, exactly on your on your filter then uh, there is two 3d objects these uh, I'll explain you a bit later on then we have lights okay let me tell you about the lights
Oh, I'm sorry. I was on mute. Okay. Uh, so what I did is uh, I just filled the width and height of the rectangle, and then I added a, a mat one. That is, I just added a material and I made it to shadow to flat. Now uh, you could see that the body of the person is not seen because here it comes a uh, uh, one more concept that is rendering option you have to always keep in mind about the uh, depth like if you have to use the depth test or, uh, or write to depth so if you will uncheck it then it will uh, whatever changes you are going to make it it will be on full screen for example if i change the color to blue now i want to blend it uh, what blend is basically it will add the texture to the whole effect currently it is on alpha if i switch on to add then you could see that whole effect is being somewhat bluish you could change the opacity according to your needs and apart from this you have different blend options that is subtract i think it will be some negative then you have multiply i think it looks cool then you have replace it will just replace the entire texture towards the color then screen it will also do something like that only mainly use when you are creating some game filters so yeah my, i think multiply was looking good you can change the color whatever you want accordingly for example red yellow anything i'll go with white only i just wanted to explain you that thing so i just yeah so this was about it and yeah you could use you should know how to how these uh, depth is being used and otherwise what will happen is for example i made it to blue and uh, purple and it was alpha now if i want untick it then see it will be your body won't be reflected whatever changes you are going to make it it will just be on Uh, your body instead of the face and it will it will be like of some rubbish kind of thing that will be of no use of course if you are creating for some ghost effect you could add a face mesh of some you know some devil or something and you can just make the changes out of different color in the background or some you can add the animation and then you just want the face to be attract then you don't have to use a depth test by the way guys are you understanding or it's just i am speaking and going on please someone respond i am my dear understanding okay yeah. yeah so this is the thing you have to keep in mind about it abhi ke liye white rehne dete hain yeah so one more thing if you don't want this canvas you can just make it um uh, like just uncheck the visible option not only canvas you can all we also do it with face tracker also it works on everything now if we uh, lights i'll tell you when we'll go with 3d so i won't tell you right now so currently i have disabled this canvas one more thing i want to explain you i was telling you about the parent child relationship so this is what uh, in the canvas i have added a rectangle so the canvas is now the parent so whatever changes i'm going to make for example in this uh for now let me make it of any color and try to show you all okay so uh, for example i add one more rectangle here Oh, sorry. Rectangle, rectangle. Where are you? Yeah, I will change it manually. I'll add some material. Flat. Let me add a texture. That it will be of no use. But still, okay.
okay so what i am going to tell you is uh, this parent child relationship means whatever changes i'm going to keep it in canvas uh, for example if i make the canvas as uh, uncheck the visibility then you will see that both the rectangles will will be disappeared but if i uh, go with the child itself for example if i will disable this then it only this this part will be getting disabled so for example if you are creating a a a filter for a client where you want that at some point of time kuch aur ho at some point of time we want something else to happen then you can just uh, make this can you should put in canvas and then uh, you can make the visibility of the canvas is true and false so the filter will go accordingly like if for example i want something like if i tap yeah uh, if stimulate touch means whatever like if tap to change you would have seen many filters on instagram if i want to make something like that tap to change so i could go with this parent child relationship concept and it would be very easy for me to make just make this canvas visible so rest all things would be visible yes apart from this uh, speaker yeah as this i explained you about the types of material yeah this is this is what i was trying to tell you when you create the effects of uh, you know uh, some gold silver type ka kuch create kar rahe hain ya fir if you are creating earrings or something mm -hmm. so these textures would be of like uh, uh, it would be of great use uh, face paint ki baat hoti hai to face paint mein this is how the texture looks when you go with the face paint uh, फेस पेंट में वो टेक्सचर पूरा फेस पे ऑक्यूपाई कर लेता है इंस्टेड ऑफ लेटिंग वो मतलब ऐसा नहीं रहता कि अलग से आपके फेस पे कुछ अलग से लाइक इट वोट इट वोट लुक यू लाइक यू हैव एडिशनली एडेड समथिंग इट विल बी समथिंग रियल की या समन एज पेंटेड ऑन योर फेस सो यू शुड यूज फेस पेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ फ्लैट और स्टैंडर्ड विद दैट एंड या रीटचिंग हाउ कुड आई फॉरगेट लेट मी टेल यू दिस थिंग तो यू विल लाइक इट फॉर शो as of now it's of no use i would have deleted but anyways i'll remove this texture yeah so what retouching is going to do is it will make your skin more smooth see before retouching after retouching i hope you guys can see the changes here so this was all about the retouching you can add on your effects and it will make it more क्लियर एंड ये अच्छा लगेगा लोगों को वैसे भी आजकल कितने फिल्टर्स यूज करते हैं सी दिस कितना सारा इसके फेस पे कुछ कुछ हो रहा था इट इट गॉट क्लियर यस या हु वाज देयर प्लीज एनी डाउट्स नो मैम आई एम जस्ट थिंकिंग ये अच्छा था या यू वर जस्ट रिस्पोंडिंग ओके ओके नाइस नाइस या सो this was all about face tracker another thing you can do is you there is something called plane or we what will happen abhi face tracker what happens in face tracker is ki whatever things you are going to add in it will move according to your face this is the point and uh, let me tell you that spark doesn't allow you the static text so uh, it says that if you are using the static text then the text should be integrated in the face tracker so jo bhi text date time wale jo jitne bhi filters hai na you should always keep in mind to keep it in the face tracker and then smoothing and all i'll tell you later on how you can make it more smooth so you guys would have seen the filter which character you are or something like that how i created here so you could just um, i'll teach you about these three things now what these three things are basically it uh, if you want to know the shortcuts if you are using keyboard then you should remember e r t e e for this one r for this one and t for this one now what this is it it will uh, going to adjust the position that uh, you have selected for the object agar aapko if you want to make it up down let me pause it first otherwise it will be a good great confusion now see we have three axes x y and z accordingly you could move and you could see here the parameters will get changed one more thing the parameters that are going to be here will be in meters 
will be in a very small unit but yeah you it will be in meters you could just change right left and if you want to keep it more in front or in back you could choose accordingly um uh, i think this is fine then uh, let me play it. yeah now if you feel ki size bahut zyada bada hai you want to make it quite small this is the option where you have to make the changes that this is the scale or scaling of the object now how you are going to use it if you will if you will just click here no not just keep your mouse here and just drag it that's how you are going to change the size so first one is for um for the uh, you know like for the positioning where you want to keep it second one is for scaling how you are going to make the scale and the third one i middle one is for rotation for example you want to rotate it on x y z axis you can do it accordingly jaisa chahiye waisa you can go for it so these things these three things are for that now if you will see here local and global so what this local and global do is for the uh, local you would be able to easily move in all axis har axis mein you will be able to move but if you will go with the global then you will see that axis don't move only the uh, like the ones that are being matched that are that are being matched those axis are going to be oriented rest all it won't be so prefer global ah sorry local because here you could just move around all the axis easily now the next thing is um let me explain about the null object or what patch editor types of objects okay i'll just make it invisible right now and let me add a again the mask yes so uh, let me teach you something about the patches first so if you want to uh, view the patch editor what you are going to do is you have to go in view and just click on show and hide patch so here whatever logic you are going to create will come here okay so there are lots of different things apart in the uh, patches if you will right click on it you will see here there are lots and lots of things so i was telling you about the speciality of spark that koi bhi patch mein if you will want to know about the audio you can just uh click on view documentation or voice ka it will just open it for example let me tell you about shaders for example blend so if you click on view documentation it will just go through the blend documentation and you could see um to be an expert you should always go through the documentation that will I, that i will say you like from day one because see even if you are learning any programming language it always says that you should go through the documentation so that's all ye spark documentation to bilkul bhi aisa nahi hai ki you will feel kya hai ye sab you could easily understand because they have different um, images they have added where you could see then uh, light effects i'll tell you later on file size and face tracker i was explaining you so you could see how they have just made it made for you like you can add the face mask then you can add the object face tracker that's all we have already learned so yeah, let me give you a small brief about how patches works so <clears throat> sorry yeah so let me play it so there are different types of patches that are available we are just going to learn a few of bit for example there is something called object trap now what is this object uh, object tap will do is it will capture when obviously as the name say object tap aap kisi bhi object pe click karoge it will respond respond 
it will give a response right so that's what it is it will ca uh, capture when someone taps on that object in the device uh, when you are testing your filter of course so i have already added it now we have we are going to add अब कौन से ऑब्जेक्ट पे हम लोग टैप करने वाले हैं वी आर गोइंग टू टैप ऑन दिस फेस मास्क सो फॉर दैट आई विल ड्रैग दिस दैट्स हाउ इट इज बी एडेड जस्ट यू हैव टू ड्रैग इट ऑन द पैच एंड नाउ व्हाट दिस इज यू हैव टू कनेक्ट इट टू द ऑब्जेक्ट सी द टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट आई एम गोना स्पीक इज दीस आर द पोर्ट्स these are the patches and while you are connecting the different patches the nodes will be used this is how the graphical terminology is that will be used in the patches so that's how i did it uh, i just uh, added a face mesh object to the object tab now then i'm going to add a switch you don't have to get uh, like what what new thing i'm going to teach you because this and you just have to keep in mind that this will really help you in your assignment one so you should be very attentive to this so what switch is uh, basically it will use a pulse like how you know boolean turn on or turn off like that we are going to um, create it uh, you could see it is use a pulse signal to turn a boolean signal on and off so i'll just add it so what it will do is if you will just click what we want is ki whenever i want to click on the mask that is object then uh, it will uh, i want it to get disappear very slowly with very smoothly okay so for that only i am creating the patches so now we need a pulse what pulse will do is it will as you know that switch is going to send the signal for turn on and turn off so pulse is going to send a pulse to the respective boolean signal if you want to drag all these patches you will just select it and then drag it the way you want and then we are going to add a animation patch now what this animation patch is going to do is as a name sounds it will just give a animation effect towards it you could see that before adding this patch i haven't uh, added it i just want to to uh, tell you guys you just keep a note here just keep an eye here whenever i click on the object you could see there is a a pulse created see one since it is a boolean uh, once it will be on and another time it will be off that's how it is working out then you are going to add the turn on into the play and turn off to the reverse after this we are going to use a an awesome patch that is the mix patch what it is going to do is it is it basically performs the as the name says it's gonna like it will just inter uh, interpolate between two values interpolate between two values uh, modulated by the alpha values uh, basically alpha will be for your transparency like how transparent you want the channel to be so i'll just make it currently here and then i am going to drag my image now this is rgba rgb and this is the alpha channel so you don't have to stress over all these things slowly you will understand it don't worry so i am going to add it here and then for the material this is the texture we just have to add this and from the animation progress you have to add it into the alpha now look over the image just a minute whenever i click on it 
it will smoothly get disappear you could see how smoothly it is disappearing now if you don't want to make it disappear and you want that if someone taps your uh, there should be a new face match with some you know different uh, shade so let me add one more face match from my computer any switch with game pan here you would be knowing all these things i hope so you will just drag the image here and for the rgba channel you will just attach here now if you we'll click here smoothly next texture will come you could see how smoothly it is going and i think it look really nice here yeah so don't panic it's just simple patchwork i did you don't have to be worried about it how you will learn it slowly and gradually you will this was this has to be taught because this will be <laughs> i don't want to disclose it fully but yeah this will be a part of your assignment so that's why i wanted to make you guys learn this so apart from this uh, let's make it something more so the next topic of ours is segmentation okay so i'll continue here only now what the segmentation one um, before that let me complete that part also just a minute more types of object what i can explain later on sorry um so if you want to add the segmentations there are basically three segmentation that is being supported by this spark so if you want to know about this segmentation documentation will get open so if i tell you from documentation you will understand it easily so what the segmentation basically it will just detect the uh, the part of camera that is being set on the alpha mode uh, that also i'll tell you how it is done so basically if you click on the camera you will see on the right side there is something called texture extraction and segmentation now what this texture uh, extraction will do is it will extract the camera texture exactly the way the the scene is being there so for example i just extracted a camera texture uh as of now i'll tell you first how it will go then i'll tell you about the segmentation so before that let me make it white again and let me for now i'll just make it this is cool so i'll tell you how the camera texture works uh, okay so in the texture mode you just have to add a camera texture so this is this is how uh, the camera texture is being added so now if you will think that what new thing it did it was like previous the only it was same nothing new but no no uh, what happened is i'll tell you how the these simple effects have been made with the help of plots so let me import from the ar library color lots which one shall i take okay as of now let me take 
first one only. Let me import it. First color lot. You have to import this. This is the patch that we are going to use it for the. How you have seen, you would have seen there are so many different um, color filters, yeah. just color filter, black and white, or maybe, you know, some texture changes would be there. Something or the other would will happen. Or even you can import from your computer itself. I'll teach you how color LUT is being made. Uh, there is a neutral LUT that is available. Mm -hmm. For now, I have so many LUTs, so I'll just make use of any one. Just make it none. And what you have to do is you have to drag this patch on the patch editor. Now you could see that for the input texture, what you need is a camera texture. So here we have the camera texture. You have to drag it here. And you have to, you have to connect the RGBA with the texture. And then you have to connect your LUT with, again, RGBA. Now, what we want to do is we want to connect this rectangle towards it. So every time if you have to connect it, you need a texture. So just extract the texture come here and connect it. Could you see the difference in the color? That's how these color filters have been made. You just need one patch that is fast color dot, and you just need one camera texture. With this camera texture, you need this lot. Now, if you have different LUTs, you could do one thing that you could just right click on it or you could replace it. For example, I have this, this one is nice. Let's see how it is done. So that's how you could create n number of colorful filters. Now, if you want something, if I tab here and it gets changed, so I'll teach you that also, it is really easy. Wait. Are you guys understanding till now or it's just me teaching to myself? No, no, ma'am. We are understanding. understanding. What okay. one or uh, Pardon? Uh, anyone wants to say something? Hello. No, ma'am. Go. Okay, I'll go ahead. So for example, I want something, if I tap here, it should get change. So what I'll do is I'll right click on it. First of all, let me make, Achha, one more thing. Uh, we have programming language, mein, we used to have the comment sections. Na? So we have here also, we could make it in a comment. For example, I have created this. I'll right click it and I'll make it a comment. Or here I could write it as, uh, for example, color effect. So if someone is reading my patch, he or she could easily understand what I am doing. Otherwise, it's of no use. Okay. Now next, let me tell you how you can make it tap to change. So you have an option called screen tap. What we are going to do we want key if someone clicks on the mobile device so it should respond so we have the screen tab it will capture somebody's device screen so from the gesture state you need a counter now what this counter is going to do is it will use a pulse signal and it will increase or decrease the number of counts you will give in the maximum count you could increase by one or decrease by one, or you could read more from the documentation itself. So for example, I add it. Now, 
see what happens is what we want abhi currently i want that the color should switch with two intervals first one is this one and the other would would be whatever i am adding so i'll make the maximum count as two if you want ki three times color should change you could go with max count as three now what we are going to do is from count we are make going going to take another um patch that could be what was that exactly equals to so it will check if two numbers are exactly equals first number and second number second now the first, second number is zero means the current effect that is on your screen and uh, for that you have to again right click on the canvas oh very nice right click on the canvas and add another rectangle okay make it as color 2 and make this set as Color one. Okay. Now again, you have to do the same. Now see if you want to make a smart move. What you can do is, ye the mat one uh, material that you have created. Just you have two shortcuts. Either right click here and make it duplicate, or else you can use con uh, Control plus D. So it will get duplicated here. And same with the Uh, color one also as of now i delete it and just right click duplicate it automatically it will be color two and just add here oh, 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 oh. let me change the name okay now what we want to do is we want to add another texture here if per person change the i mean tap and it gets change wait i'll tell you same thing you have to do you have to again drag this fast color lot with the same rgba you need a texture now you need another texture let's take white black and white hai kya isme Okay, here it is. Let's make it now. Let's drop it here. And with the material too, you need the texture, the fuse texture, and then you have to connect it. so that's how i have done abhi if you click here na you couldn't see any changes because abhi we haven't finished our logic yet so what we are going to do is abhi currently for the zero what we want is that the color one rectangle should get visible and what we want ki if the number is exactly equals to 1 again how the the array concept works na that indexing starts from zero that's how it the things works here also um equals equals exactly you need it one now what the zero will be for the first one which was that this this color right so color one go will make it visible and for color two will make this visible refresh it then see Okay, so if I click here, the color will change. Easy. Just this much you need. You can comment it out, and you can write your logic. Uh, logic to logic for screen tap. That's it. 
you could see that this is done easily so this is how we are going to do the color changes so yeah this is this was all about the camera texture how we are doing it um you would have seen like how people make filters like yeah you know, video calling type something that also you can do it just right click here add a rectangle make it fill width and just scale it for example abhi hame chahiye 0.5 you could see the size uh, or else just make it 0.4 and drag it above to make it look like a video call okay now what we'll do is add a material here make it flat and then add a texture here so if you'll add a camera texture here this will become this will be same as your image whatever you want now you could see the difference in the texture uh, how come these difference comes is because we have added the color alert here so if you want ki this color alert should be here then how you can do is just extract this texture you can add multiple texture so see how it is done now one more thing uh, i'll tell you ki if you want it in some shapes or something ki you don't want it in a uh, rectangle there is something called alpha channel here you could add a texture so whatever the texture you know uh, this a uh, shape would be it will adapt the same shape uh one more thing i forgot to discuss with you was the face assets uh, wait i'll tell you circular texture uh, it is in ar face assets so this face assets is by default in the documentation you guys can also download it there are these meshes wo abhi nahi dikhenge and the textures meshes would be a, th a 3d object So if I want to be in a circular shape, I'll just add this face mesh. Now see. Or if you want to de uh, de scale it, you can easily do it zero point five. As a star, who here? Any such shape, if you want to keep it, make it. Or else, simple. Keep it. So just make it simple. That's it. According to your needs. अभी के लिए आई जस्ट मेक इट इनविजिबल एंड मेक इट दिस फेस ट्रैकर अगेन विजिबल ओके सो नेक्स्ट थिंग आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग वाज सेगमेंटेशन सो इन द कैमरा यू हैव द सेगमेंटेशन व्हाट इज सेगमेंटेशन फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस तो सेगमेंटेशन इन द स्पार्क स्टूडियो वी विल डिटेक्ट एंड सेपरेट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कैमरा इनपुट फॉर एग्जांपल टू सेपरेट समवन्स हेयर from the rest of the screen or body or skin so basically there are three types of segmentation uh, 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 okay so kon kon se teen type ke we have a person segmentation we have a hair segmentation we have a skin segmentation so what these two is uh if i click on person segmentation it will detect the person's shape and it will be like whatever you want to do in the in that thing for example wait i'll show you uh okay for that also let me create one more canvas let me add a rectangle i'm not changing the name Make the shader type to flat. Don't forget to use the advanced render option. Make it a depth, and then go to the alpha channel. Now, look carefully what will happen when I'll take the alpha texture as the segmentation. That was this person segmentation. Could you see what happened here? It just adapted a person's 
shape way. I go with the front camera. So that's what is the role of the um, person segmentation. You could change the color. Anything you want. And this was the person segmentation. If you will go with skin segmentation, so you have to, yeah, capabilities are there that skin segmentation works only for Instagram. So, like for the smart way, you just click on remove Facebook. If you want to do it manually, what you can do is you just have to go it, go on the project added properties and then you have to just make uncheck the Facebook and just go that's it that's how it will be done so in the rectangle part for the alpha you have to add the another segmentation that was skin segmentation could you see what happened now it's only detecting my skin so if you have, you would have seen so many filters like uh, tattoos, full body tattoos or something. So that's how with the help of this, it was made. Another thing is you can even make the changes in this segmentation. This was for the skin segmentation. Softness, you could just make it according to your needs. You could change the size. Abhi 1.8 hai. Banana hai. Kam karna hai. It all depends on you. Abhi ke liye 1.8 hai rehne dete. Yeah, one more thing. Thing. You could see that my mask is not visible. Nobody asked me why it is happening. You know why it is happening? Because, uh, see, I have added a canvas after the face tracker. See the hierarchy, how it is going on. So what we want is this canvas should come above the face tracker. How it will happen? Just drag it and keep it here. And go in the rectangle part and use the advanced render option. Make the height to depth. Now if I change it to black, it will look nice. Okay, so the other thing is I wanted to tell you skin segmentation ho gaya. Abhi hair segmentation, wait, that also I'll tell you. But for hair segmentation, you have to keep one more thing in mind that I think with uh, person segmentation, hair segmentation won't work. For now, I'll just try it. Okay. Oh, I should give another color. So do you see my hair color got changed? Okay, so one more thing, you know, these blend modes is currently on alpha. So we have, if you'll go with add, it won't go much natural. Subtract to negative color. Multiply looks good. Accordingly, you can select whatever you want. Alpha, add, or multiply. Okay. So that's how it will work. Let me go with skin segmentation because with this mask it will look good. Okay, so that's how it's done. Now, uh, what's next? If you guys have any doubt, please feel free to ask.
yeah these segmentation we did i have to go with another tracker object tab is done and uh, if i just make it this one also we did okay so the next thing that we will be learning is let's go with plain track so i'll just save this project file if any one of you need it you can just tell me or i'll share with everyone let me close this project and let me open yeah one more thing if you i could tell you but i'm lagging on time i'll tell you some other day let's create a blank project i can don't like a target like a hand okay For the plain track, we don't need the front camera. We just need the back one. So in the add object, just add a plain track. Now what this plain track will do is, you would have seen the filters that uh, that helps you in keeping the objects. For example, for our reference, I open, not open, from template. If I go with uh, here it is. Object and then let's add a three D object. You it got tank, I think. Right? Again, the segmentation. No, 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 not this one. Wait. From SX library, three D object. Let's add some shape or something. Let's add this. You have to drag it in the plane tracker and then. You could see it here. You could rescale the object. Okay. Mm, then with this, I'll explain you that also. So uh, with this 3D object has its own material. Uh, like how did we have the material for rectangle as well as for all the other shapes? So if you want to add a texture here, you can again go with it, this.
so before that let me explain you all about the lights that i told you that i will be uh, telling you uh, so this was the by default now what these light do is uh, we will go uh, to the documentation first yeah so uh, in this park here we have the different lights ambient light we have the uh, directional lights environmental lights so um, for the uh there are basically five types of lights ambient environmental directional spot and point light now what ambient light would going to do is it will add a constant amount of light to all the objects to your space so if you want to add uh like this ambient light it, there are already two lights available by default first one will be ambient and the other one will be a directional light so what these uh will do is it will give a natural effect to the object to make it more crystal uh, you know clear and a bit uh, glowy look so an ambient light will provide each object seen with a constant amount of light now what will happen if i'll just make it visible visibility of so you could see the changes in the structure if ambient light is on you could see how the intensity is being made through it and if i go with directional light just a minute you could see so what happens is uh, see for example this is the image image of the uh, baseball now if you, uh, if i add the ambient light you could see the natural effect that that is there on the shade so what it does is it will provide these uh, like a particular amount of light that could um, that would be needing for the objects so that you can't change the position rotate yeah you cannot change the position rotate or scale of the ambient light uh, practically also you could see here you can't just change all these things there is nothing like that but for the directional light you have that uh, capability to change it now what the directional light will do is it will shine an object see for the ambient light it was looking like a dull dull object so with the directional light it gave a uh, you know some shiny look so that's how the directional light would be working so it's always preferred and it's a good idea to have a directional light in your 3d object uh, so that to make it more glowy effect and uh, you you have the option that you can just uh, switch it over the place where you want because all the position scales and uh, directions would be available for it and then you have the spotlight as the name says it will just uh, it's going to spot it a particular uh, like it will just um, it's like a beam of light okay that will be changing in from a particular uh, defined range uh, we have the environmental lights that would be uh, again like you will be adding towards your 3d objects to make it more realistic so that's how it is uh, wait and show you let me make it more okay now see this if this is uh, what physically base shader type do and uh, if we talk about the environmental it this effect that is being there it's it is because of the f it is because of the effect that is being there it means yeah so you could see how the effect goes with the environmental light this environmental light was changed by the uh text i mean like you can change it from the assets library for example i want this one i could add it 
now see the changes you could see that's how it is. see the effect you could see here also roughness you could have accordingly see how it is done okay uh, the other thing you can do is i forgot to tell on face tracker also with the plane or rectangle for example we have here actions so if there is something related to face tracker you could uh, position it on your uh, like chin or eyebrows or nose forehead mouth anywhere you could want and if you want to add a simple simple shadow you could just add it here so it will just create some patches by default and a shadow to it and the other thing is you can just make it animate it is moving very far yeah so undo it so that's how it would be done for the plane tracker i don't think there is much more one more thing i would like to discuss here is wait world ar object let's take this one so basically these uh, will be used for example i have created a uh, effect like we have coca cola bottle and what i want is that bottle should be look more realistic or you would have seen how iphone or ipad you know gift wrap uh, like fully packed one and people have made the like simple objects here and it it used to be so real even i have made it on my profile i for that i got uh, i ipad unboxing one so people used to say that it looks so real so that's how it's just simple you need a 3d object you just have to drag it on the plane tracker and you have to just set a position that's it that's how it would be done if you want to add some animation you can add it or later on you could just keep it how you want now if you don't want this rotation you can just stop it or else uh, it's completely fine uh, apart from this yeah null object i forgot to explain null object is again it also act just like how a uh, uh, parent child containers are there i mean like you can add a uh, number of n number of things in the null object and if you want to create a, a, a like a big project and you have lots of logics into it and if one flow goes into uh, like for example we have something ki if a person tab on the screen these things should happen uh, with face striker or something or the other up uh, not just uh, with the help of canvas so you can just add a null object so if i just uh, make it uh, invisible everything inside this null object will get disappeared so that's how it will be there for the ambient light also you could see if i both just make it invisible you can't see the object in a real but if i make it directional light as visible you could just see some transparency there and if we'll make it ambient light it will make it more look natural and yeah so that's all about plane tracker i won't make it save because it's of no use i hope you guys have got it someone can please respond guys are you getting yeah ma'am so uh, the next thing is hand tracker i think you all will enjoy it wait i'll tell you okay uh, 
so for hand tracker you have to go in the project added properties and just make it for facebook as i said that it works only for facebook so go to add object add a hand tracker now as the name says hand tracker it will track your uh, movement of your hand whatever uh, would be your um, i mean whatever you will add on hand tracker it will available for now i'll just go to assets and let's add something instead of 3d object let's add a uh, burger or something what should i add at least guys suggest me something <clears throat> what shall i add burger or something okay let's go with burger let me add a burger Okay, now this is the three D object that I have downloaded from a set. You just have to drag it on your hand tracker. Now, what will happen is first of all, let me decrease the size of the burger. I know it will be a huge bit, so let me decrease it. This is cool. So, uh, what hand tracker will do is, uh, it will make the make it in front of your camera. Your object will appear. For example, let's go. That's how easy it is. Now you can add so many effects here, and like it works only for Facebook, yeah. So this thing you have to keep in mind. Uh, that's it. You can add some glowy effect or something you want. Uh, the other thing is uh, target tracker. Um, do you guys have any doubt in hand tracker? Guys, you have any doubt? No, ma'am. Okay, so let's go on. Shall I save it, or anyone want this project, or shall I just discard it? Guys, please respond. No, ma'am. Ah, uh, the previous one we can you can share with us. Sure, sure. Okay, I just make it this one. So yeah, next thing we gonna do it. Let's open the target tracker because for that I'll be sharing a link to to you. I have already. Wait. Now for the target track, what we want is uh, you just have to add an object and you have to just add the target track. Now the target track, what target track is going to do is uh, it, for example, I have an image of, uh, suppose I am making a filter for a brand, uh, Kurkuri, cool. So uh, what uh, the company wants is he, everybody have that front, uh, you know, image of that kurkure so what i uh, i'll be doing is i'll be taking a front image of kurkure and uh, i am going to select the target tracker and add the image in the texture now this texture image would be the image that is good that we want to uh, make to target it right so if that kurkure packet for example orange color one i uh, make it uh, the image in the texture so if uh, a kurkure packet comes near me and i just take my phone and i'll just um, yeah i'll just scan it over it once i'll scan it uh, it's going to show the effect on my camera so as of now uh, what i did is uh, i just i'm just using this template of this spark uh, so what we are tracking is this image Spark, 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 and some sort of designs that have been inbuilt. And what you can do is you can add whatever you want. So as of now, they have added the star here. If you want, you can go in assets and let's add some more thing. To add. Mm -hmm. 
what shall I add? Let me come out from both section first. Uh, okay, as of now, I'll just add a shape right now because we are. Okay, let me add this. Done. Uh, with the star, we have this path. You just have to drag in the target tracker and uh, set the size, whatever you want. Set the color, shape. Okay. And then that's it. You have to do it. Uh, if you have to add any other, for example, I'll explain you later on this particle system, but as of now, I just use it. How it works, I'll tell you. So see, um, what happens is whenever we have, uh, you have seen the filters where snow is falling or uh, you know stars are go going up, glowing effect. And so all these is done with the emitter. I'll explain you in next class because it will take a bit time to explain all these things that happens here. So as of now, let me, um, Test it. So, in order to test any filter, you have to go in the uh, test run device, and uh, your Spark Hub is being connected to your uh, Insta account. So, you just have to send it. Once you will send it, uh, wait, I'll show you all. Uh, the target image is this one. So, once I'll receive this. Um, I'll tell you what's next is, let me see. And I could, I could take a simulation. Okay. Okay, till then my, I'm getting the effect. Let me explain you guys about the data types. So you guys would be aware of data types in your programming language. Likewise, you have data types for Spark 2. So uh, what these data types are basically different patches that we are going to use it. Uh, so let me go with the documentations. Documentation. Yeah. So uh, for the every patch, uh, there are lots of different patches uh, Spark have. But if we talk about the data types, the, there are some of these data types called Boolean signals, scalar, pulse, 3D point, 2D point, color, progress, as well as vector 2, vector 3, vector 4. So uh, what happens here is you can change the data type with uh, some port. Uh, of course, you have to select the patch and click on the cop symbol that appears. There are uh, so many different types of patches. So let's discuss about the Boolean signal. Uh, you can, you know what Boolean is. Either it could be true or it could be false. Uh, either it would be yes or no. So what happens here is, uh, suppose I'm creating a filter where I want that eyes should open or close or mouth should get open or close. So I'll be needing uh, a Boolean, like I need a signal that will, uh, tell me whether the point should be fall, falling under true or false. So similarly, they have told that, for example, mouth open port is there. So we have the patch that will tell whether the mouth is open or not. Now what happens in scalar? Scalar is basically a one directional value. So mouth openness port in the mouth open patch has a scalar value that can be taken either one or 0 0.5 depends. Um, We'll be using it in a future project, so you'll get more clear into it. Don't be much stressed for these pulse. So I used it. Can anybody tell me where I use the pulse? Let me see who all are attentive. Guys, please answer. Hello, am I audible? Hello. Yeah, ma'am, you are audible. Where did I use the pulse? Okay, you guys forgot. You remember I uh, I created a patch for the uh, like mask was getting disappeared. 
with some few intervals there i use the pulse so what pulse is basically that uh, event that happens at some point in time so it's uh, it's not a continuous signal like bullying uh, that is that won't be like either true or false but uh, if like hum like if i'm nodding or some thing is changing or if i'm tapping on the object something is getting changed so that's all would be uh, taking consider into it then we have 3d point and 2d point 3d point is will be basically a signal uh, like three dimensional signal that can be for rotation scale or position you all are much well aware of it um you guys know we can even uh, directly what happened here check the signal somebody connect Hmm. Uh, so what happens is uh, you can uh, like if you are creating a patch sometimes we need all these things for the transformation scale up position or rotation uh, so that uh, if i want to create a logic that needs a, that uh, if a person tap the object scales up to two times the actual size so i can just take the uh, this i can just take the patch here and i could create a logic here for it and will i will just attach a uh this patch and that's how it would be done so these things you have to take care about it in future you will get don't think ki abhi sab kuch padhna hai aisa nahi hai so for the color this type represents the rgba now what rgba red green blue and a is for alpha channel alpha color transparency so um that's how you will you will be giving the values and there would be different things that you can do it and if i talk about the animation that also we have used you can give the duration whatever you want and it would be the signal that will be restricted from 0 to 1 range now if we talk about the vector now what vector is there are different types of vectors um let me share it with you uh, for example let me take a okay so what happens in vector uh, there are three types of vector vector 2 vector 3 vector 4 for vector 2 it will be for 2d objects it will be for 2d points and 2d texture coordinates and for vector 3 will be for three three dimensions uh, for both uh, for all rgb okay and for vector 4 it will be for rgba uh, how it will be going to look is just like this vector 2 for two inputs for vector 3 we have three inputs x y z uh, x y for vector 2 and for vector 4 x y z and w w is for alpha channel so yeah uh, these things you'll be taking your matrix 2d texture and all uh, let's discuss all these things later on uh, did i got the link yeah i got it so let me share it with you all also and let me try it on my right um let's check okay just a minute okay so if i just okay, shall i share it i'll share the link you guys can also try it Uh, but for that you need this image this one spark 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 i think you will you will get this project from documentation itself so no need of me sharing it but yeah i'll just share the oh somebody responded in the chat i'm sorry i didn't saw it the animation yeah yeah correct correct yeah so you guys can test it for this you need the image uh how it will look let me tell you wait for now let me get mm no project so let me show you how it was actually looking so in that uh, image you couldn't see the star right here see so uh, while you run the project uh, 
you will i don't know if it is visible but yeah you will see something like this this star will appear yeah so that's how it will be for the target like it, it would be so easy to drag all these things and yeah it becomes easy when we are making a filter for any branch or something where you want to drag for example even red bull has it and coca cola also and so many other companies so that's how the target track works face track plain track target track hands okay these things we have covered types of material data types and all plugins okay cool uh yeah for lights also you could see this example how spotlight will appear how point light will appear and how light box like how these things will be seen on the screen itself um apart from this let me teach you how to add a music from the patch oh sorry from the library itself you just have to import it you can download it automatically Okay. Now see, automatically this audio folder came. Cool. Uh, now what you have to do is just you have to right click on it and go to actions and play. For example, if you want this song to be played continuously on the screen, you could go with continuous, or else you could go with on effect. Start like I'll just go with continue continuously on the screen. Now one more thing. Mm, if i'll just uh, share this link project to you all what will happen is uh, whenever you are recording the, that on your insta for example whenever you are uh, taking a photo or making a video at that time what will happen is you won't be able to hear the sound so for that you could go to microphone or oh, sorry go to speaker and just uh, no speak disable me cool so now what will happen is if you will record the music uh, then you could easily able to hear that music also this is a good practice you should keep in mind let me cool yeah so that's how you can add a music into the file the other thing is you could easily play around with the patches like how we did with the color alerts na so what just four minutes left i show you a quick uh or some patch that is color which one shall i go with okay wait let me go with shadows i would have already be having here um color cycle cool so just see how it works uh, just right click it add a yeah one more thing uh, don't you don't have to add again and again the canvas just add a rectangle automatically canvas will be coming so let me add it add a material make it flat now i told you how you can extract the texture so just go to height and i'm showing height patch now see how easy it is you just have to drag this you have to go on rectangle material and you have to extract this texture now see Uh, you would have seen that this disco filter on Instagram. That's how it is being made. Uh, you can change the duration to whatever you want. Five seconds, it will get changed. Two seconds depends. If you want to make the texture smooth, just remember this ten second and zero point three start value. Random reverse. That's all up to you. Now see what what I'm gonna do. I'll explain you about the blend mode. I mean the center options. Just make it as add, or if you want to be more good, you could go with this. You can make the opacity whatever you want accordingly. Okay, yeah. 
you could go with alpha also if you want. That's how it will be. So that's how you can play with different patches uh, around yourself. Uh, there are so many patches available. Let me try one more for you all. Okay, so let's go with this four color gradient. So yeah, instead, you don't have to remember the logic every time it will be displayed here. So it's not like you have to just mug up everything. So let me take this four color gradient and let me attach to my color texture. I have multiplied it so it's looking like this. You could go with either add opacity or you could go with alpha and this go with this. Cool. Uh, you can change the color textures according to whatever you want. Yellow, blue, green, red, everything. Yeah, that's it. Um, there are so many patches. Instead of four color, you can go with two color. Blur patch is also available. Distortion is there, and you would have seen this. So, will filter all these things are also there. Mirror effect is there. This we have used. Ha, huh, this is very useful. You would have seen this Kira Kira effect. You can use this patch also. Then you could go with um, anything you want invert texture for everything that they have the logic. So it's not like every time you have to remember all these things. You could go with dual texture also. And yeah, one more thing, if you want this texture to be continuously rolling, you can add an animation also. For example, let me add loop animation to color A. Sorry, I have to transition also. Uh, instead of doing like this also, you could just click on rectangle and just go to actions and just make it as pulse or something. And then you can just change the values to whatever you want according to your effect. Yeah, it's not looking much into it, but if your image is something like uh, uh, an object or something, it will it will look like you know some animation is going on. It purely depends on your concept, of course. Then yeah, this is also a nice one. This one also I'll show you last, then we'll just wind up for today. Okay, so just a minute. For now, let me remove this one. And I just remove this also. Cool. So I have added this edges color shader. Now listen. What its input needs is a texture. Uh, we, what texture we want to give is the camera texture. So how you are going to extract the camera texture, you will go to camera, extract the camera texture, and then just drag the camera texture to the texture, alpha RGBA, and then just make it to this one. Now you won't see much changes here now. If I make the values as Okay, wait. Let's play with these values. Cool. Um, for example, let me make the saturation as minus one. And 
it will make some more dull or bright depends on the and it will make it what oh ah, i got it why it's happening So this was the default. Okay, now you can make the changes according to your. So for minus one, it is black and white. So you don't need a black and white lot again. You can make make the filter by here itself. Then you can invert it. So yeah, that's how inversion works. You can also make the let me make it to normal. Yeah, and you can change the values, whatever you want, whatever you like, 0 0.3, 0 0.1 or something. Just play on the values and you will get some texture, whatever you want. So yeah, that's how you will learn about all these patch assets. What could you can try it from here itself, the CK wala hai. So you just need this and you have to just attach to this texture, how we have accepted this diffuse texture. And instead of having one uh, rectangle, you can have a number of rectangles, uh, depends on whatever you want. Um, yeah, that's it. I think we covered today's part. You can add this also, it will look like an X-ray. <laughs> Or you can go with four, split of four, or anything you can. So I'll suggest you that you guys play with these uh, patches so you will be able to learn a lot many new things. And yeah, there are so many things you could learn easily by hit and trial method because uh, the thing is, the more mistake you will make here, the more you are going to learn. So that's that's what I feel. So you guys have any doubts or questions you can ask me. <coughs> Did you all fall asleep or what? No one. At least response. Let's give me a response, guys. Hello. Yeah, let right. me. Hello, hello. No doubts, ma'am. So everyone, you got it what I explained. Do you think it is very tough? Like your boring lectures or something? No, ma'am. No doubts here. Okay. Not tough. You can unmute and speak here. <laughs> So you guys want the first project that I created to all want at least now respond. No, it's easy. It's cool to play. It's fun to play. Correct. So make some nice filters. Ask doubt here in the community. Link. Yeah, I'll, I won't share the link. I'll share the filter itself. Don't worry. So you guys can just try it off or something but not now like first you guys try it then i'll share okay so no doubts guys yaar ab to bol do kuch no Man, doubts man Trying to say treat kallo up to put you. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. Guys, who eat Jana to Boldo yar, and a mat karo. No doubt. Okay then.
shall we leave if you don't have any doubt because i think week one things we did yeah yeah sure you can yes, you can definitely i'll share the link to you all cool 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 so that's it from my side you guys don't have any doubt right now later on if you'll go through it if you have any doubt you can just text me any time i'll respond to you or you can even ask in the group also i'll just whenever i'll see i'll try to reply so yeah if you guys don't have any doubt shall we leave Yeah, man. Okay, okay. Cool. Then, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. See you the next weekend. Enjoy your weekend, Sunday. Bye, bye. Take care.